What's good, YouTube? It's your man, Mo, back for, with another video. And today, man, I'm hitting y'all with another reaction video. Um, I, I'm not even going to get too much into it. We just really just going to get, you know, right into the video and into the reaction. You feel me? Um, my co-star is not in this video because she don't like doing gold digger pranks. <laughs> so, I'm going to do the gold digger pranks alone. But if you, you know, if you guys enjoy, you know, having a female perspective or having my, you know, my, my fiance here in these videos and these reactions, you guys can always join on the, on the Twitch, join the lives. And, um, uh, we all, we gonna, you know, do those reactions over there. So, but the, the, the most likely the gold digger pranks and stuff like that is, it's mainly going to be me. So, but we gonna hop right into it. I can barely hear this nigga. What's your name? Um, I'm Ru I'm actually in the middle of something right now. Can I help you? I mean, I'm just asking what your name is. I love your outfit. My name's London. Uh, hi. Nice to meet you. Why are you acting like that? Honestly, it's... It's color real. <laughs> Yo, it's just something, something about... I don't know. It's like something about big dudes just... I don't know. I don't... I'm a, I, I'm not a big dude. I'm fat, but I'm not a big dude. So it's like the big dude world is just completely different. I would like to experience being a big dude, maybe for like a day, but then go back to what I'm at, you know. Cause. It's it's always men that have the audacity, like. What do you mean? I, I'm not really trying to talk to you clearly. I mean, I just want to know what your name is. I'm new to the area. I see that you're in my neighborhood, so I'm just greeting you, you know, with a smile and, you know, and a compliment. That's all. Are you going to keep following me? Have a nice day. You Bye -bye. too. There's something wrong with the audio. I don't know if it's coming up. Just for me, but something wrong with the audio. Something wrong with the audio. Route closed. Thank you. What's up? Wait, is this your car? I'm sorry? This is your car? I mean, yeah, you see, I got the key to it, right? You see, I'm in it. Okay. No, 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 no. What are you doing? I never That's never what you said. <laughs> Yo, Shadi is delusional. She delusional off the rip. Okay. That's not what he said. What are you, what are you talking about? Wait. Is this your you car? Lie. I'm sorry? This is your car? I mean, yeah, I'm just sure recording. I'm not live. You see, I'm in it. Oh, uh, okay. I can see where she where she might have took that as like her him telling her to hop in. He said, "You see, I'm in it." So she probably cause something outside is. I think it's probably the road busy or something. This is your car? I mean, yeah. You see, I got the key to it, right? You see, I'm in it. Okay. I can see where she probably heard no, 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 like no, no, hop in doing? it. You said hop in. I never said hop in. I was, but you was being mad rude. Well, that was before I knew that you were driving this car. Come around on the other side. I'm going to come I'm talk to you. What does that matter? Why does that matter, bro? Why does that matter? That's crazy. I don't see where they get this 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 fucking mindset at. Well, I mean, I'm trying not to miss 
some yeah, something outside is fucking with the audio. I need to we need to skip to like okay. When they get in the car, cause outside audio is fucking garbage. Why did they why did women like this thing like that's a fucking pickup line? Like nowadays bro, nowadays was fucking crazy is women are sitting here saying that their favorite pickup line is what your cash at like that's not a <laughs> that's not a pickup line first that's first of all that's not a pickup line second of all that makes you look like you're here as a product and you're selling something so if <laughs> if your favorite line is what your cash at and you like that shit it makes you seem like you selling you selling coochie you might as well sell coochie at that point you might as well B for fucking video vixen. People would just or vulture. She's a fucking vulture. Like a gold digger. She a vulture. Where you from? I'm from Houston. Houston, H Town. Yeah. Okay, okay. So I've been moved out here. Oh really? Mm -hmm. From where? From Nigeria. Oh no way. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. I've never heard of that. I've heard of it. Yeah, it's beautiful. Maybe you can thank me. Maybe you can thank me. Exactly. Exactly. It, it it always leads down to same. <laughs> it always leads down to the same fucking shit. Like, oh, I never been. Uh, you should take me. Oh, you want to go shopping? Yeah, you can buy me this. Come on, Shuddy. You just met me off the sidewalk. Why do you expect me to buy you stuff? I don't know. Maybe I was just wrapped up in my thoughts. But you, you obviously was telling me like, oh, I'm not interested. I got somewhere to be. You can stop talking to me. Well, like, your, your attitude you were, was horrible. Like, I just got, I mean... So who are you since I don't really know much? Um, well, I'm her. Oh, you're her? Yeah. So we could be him and her. Yeah. That's what you're saying. Yeah, basically. The him and her show. Okay. That's what's happening. Okay. That's, what's happening. That's, what's happening. That's what's happening. So tell me about you. Um, I mean, you know, I just moved back. And I just want to... Move back? Where you from? From L.A. Okay, okay. Where are you from? Wait, you said you're from Houston, though. Oh, so she's a she's a LA bit. You feel me? She's a LA bit. You know them them LA bit. They just they dirty. So that's how you that's how you know it. If you ever deal with a girl from LA, she dirty. And she don't shave her coochie. Like ever. What is this bugaboo shit? What do you mean? That is when a man is just like a child. Oh, shit. You know that Beyonce song, like, you don't want no child? Mm -hmm. This, this is me. So. I mean, okay, you said dudes don't, they don't provide anything, right, basically? Yeah. So what do you provide? What do you bring to the table? I am the table. That's not, that's not an answer. That's not a, that's not an answer. Okay. The, the, that's not a response, ma'am. When 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 men first of all we need to get the fuck they get that fucking question the fuck out of here because I'm tired of hearing that question all the fucking time from men. Men stop asking what do you bring to the table because obviously these women don't understand the analogy of what first of all what the fuck the table is and two what they have to offer to the fucking table. So stop asking the dumbass question. Two ladies the table is a reference to the relationship. So you can't say, if a man asks you, what do you bring to the table? And you say, I am the table. That means you don't bring anything. You don't bring anything because the table is the relationship. So you're the relationship. So without you, there's no relationship, obviously. So we're just sitting at a table starving. That's what we're doing. We're just in a relationship 
starving. Okay. Where Stop asking that question. I am the table. What do you mean? Okay. And second, second or third of all, if you are the table, that doesn't make you the full package. That makes you an object to be used. Because tables are what we use. We don't we don't go to a table because we want to be at a table. We go to a table to use the table. When we sit at a table, we're sitting at a table for what? To eat, right? To eat a meal. To eat our snacks. So you would want to be the snacks that are on top of the table. You don't want to be the table because then you're being used. So, Am I am I the only person that that sees that, or is, is, am I tripping? Am I tripping and thinking that way? Let me know if I'm tripping, because I'm thinking like if you're saying you're the table and we we just use tables, so basically you're saying you're just here to be used, essentially. So you don't you you're not a table that's already served. You're not a table that you're not you're not the snacks. You're not the appetizers. You're not the food. You're not anything that I'm coming to this table to enjoy. You're just the object there to be used. So once I'm done using you, I would get up and leave, correct? So what you're saying is you want to be used and have the men use you and then get up and leave when they're done with you. But again, we're just going off of the phrase of you saying that you're at the table. You can balance a couple things back there too. Oh, really? What that mean? Impressing me though. Like, well, what, you were what, impressed a minute ago. When I mean, you said, what can I do? look good, but I'm getting to know you now. I mean, so it's more than just about looks here. It's about appearance. Mm. What do you mean? So I okay. Obviously she. Uh, obviously she's. First of all, she's dumb as hell. She's just dumb. Second of all, you would. She was just literally speaking about how men constantly come to her because she looks good. But they don't have anything to offer her. But she looks good. Okay, cool. You look good. But when he asked you, okay, what what do you do? Where do you like what do you where do you, what do you bring? What what do you have like all you said is, Well, look at me. Man, you just you you literally contradicted yourself to make yourself look even more like a dumbass. So you're saying you don't want men to look at you and objectify you. But when it comes to a relationship and the main thing that they should be looking for in a woman, your response is, well, I look good. So you're you're asking men not to objectify you to the to the the basic needs of your bodies, but you're telling men to look at your bodies when they're trying to qualify you, whether or not you're good to be in a relationship. Okay. I mean, I don't know if you're not trying to keep me from you, or if this is too much. No, I'm just trying to get to know you. If you want to get out, you can get out. That's up to you. I mean, I was trying to get you. I'm not. I'm not stopping you from getting out. I'm just saying. Yeah. All I'm saying is like, I'm just trying to get to know you. And you hopped in my car, right? Well, yeah. So you just hopped in for a meal, or did you hop in to get to know me? I mean, you seem like you guys. I need to wake him up. Okay. Because you have to wake up. Exactly. So you he can't mind me asking questions about you. Even if you wake up, okay. you don't mind. Okay, ask me some questions because I'm asking you questions. I can't okay. Like, what do you do? Look, like I said, I'm an entrepreneur. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I never have money in it. You know, but for what? Certain shit I be doing, I really can't talk about for real. But on the legal side, I'm into real estate. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of property here in New York and in Nigeria as well. Man, there's a lot of ways to answer that question. It's like, what do you do without actually sitting there and telling them what you actually do? You can tell them that, yeah, I got a job. Um, and I, I, you know, if you're, a, listen, if you're an act, if you're an entrepreneur and you have your own businesses, 
I'm going to flex a little bit. I'm, I'm in the process of getting my business set up. You feel me? Like, boss, you feel me? But anyway, if you're an entrepreneur and you're, you're in the dating market and women are asking you, you know, what do you do? Stop saying entrepreneur. Stop saying that. Because off the rip, if you tell a woman, first of all, entre- the majority of people that are classified as entrepreneurs don't really make that much money. They make an average amount. Yeah, they make an average amount. A little more than what people work who do nine to five, like a little bit more um, on average, on average, average. They might make a little bit more um, or a little bit less. It's typically in the same box. So, but because people always have this mindset of thinking like entrepreneurs are like the richest niggas, stop saying entrepreneur. Just say, oh, I get, you know, I'm a manager of such and such company or uh, I, I manage properties and I say you're a manager. Why don't you say that? Say, oh, instead of saying I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a manager. That's what I'm going to say. I'm not going to, I'm not going to tell niggas I own fucking businesses. What? I'm going to tell them I manage. I'm a manager. Because that's what the fuck I do. I manage shit. I manage businesses, I manage people's lives, I manage people's schedules, that's what I do. I'm good at managing shit. I manage finances, I ma- like, I'm good at that. So I'm going to tell you that I manage. But when a woman comes to you and say, what do I do? And you say, I'm an entrepreneur. Well, now she's gonna think that you a fucking rich ass, boss ass nigga, when you're fucking not. So stop saying that shit. Y'all just, y'all just basically setting yourself to get fucking, fucking used. They're setting themselves up to be used by men, and you're setting yourself up being being like a fucking pot of gold sitting out under a goddamn rainbow. Stop saying that shit. There's a cohort. Hold on. Hi. Okay. For you to drop this baby off over here <laughs> and say this is my co, the nigga only got one sock. <laughs> yeah, you got one sock. You can't do the video with one sock. There's a nope. You don't even want it. Well, he does like it out. Maybe a little bit. Do you want me to get hit by a car? <laughs> Every time I hold his hands, that's the first thing that I think about. <laughs> okay. All right, back to the video. I'm just single right now, you know, so you're not ready to mingle. Are you ready to mingle? Yeah, I think that's what I'm saying. Nah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He zoomed in on his face, huh? I like my girl in her bag, you gotta have more. Not just, oh, let me throw it all to you. Like, you gotta have some type of hustle. I mean, you could teach me. I mean, I could teach you. I could put you in some position to get some money, but I want you to already come with at least some ambitions. Okay. Let me say this. Men's job is to provide, protect, provide, and provision. And by provision, that means guide. Like, guide you. If you have a mindset, or you have an idea, it's always good to speak with one, the person that you're with, or not only the person that you're with, but someone who's in that field, who is, who, who's in that field, who's been in that field for a while, who can give you the tips that you need. So, for example, if, if my fiance says, oh, I'm... Well, you don't even got no fiance. I don't even know what you're doing. Um, if if my fiance comes to me and says, "Hey, I know, I know you're you know trying to do your business. You're trying to set up your business. I want to set up my business. I'm already in an aspect. Boy, okay, you gotta go because you just screaming. You're not a good co-host. And she says that to me, I'm already in a space where I can give her the tips that I've learned and I can even put her in a much better position because I had to go through things and I had to plan certain things and go through and ask people certain things that she now doesn't have to do. Now she's even 
a step further than where I was when I started. So that's what provision and guide means. But if you're just coming to, if you're just coming to a dude and you're just like, oh yeah, give me, give me everything you have, or you're supposed to protect, provide, and 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 teach me. What am I teaching you? If you don't have something you want to be taught, I'm. What am I teaching you? You need to, you need to know what you want to to do, so that way, if I have that information, I can provide you, and if I don't, I can lead you down the path to get that information. But if you're just saying, teach me. Okay, this is how this is how you pull down some toilet paper. You grab that's what I'm gonna teach you. Cause you're just telling me to teach you stuff. It's always good to know what you want to do. And sometimes it takes time for you to get to the point where you know what you want to do with yourself or know what you want to do with your life. But just sitting there and be like, teach me, give it to me. Like that's weird. You're weird. Someone gave her 20. What did she just say? Have fun with you. You're right, it's 15. No. Maybe one. Be real. 15. Be real, that's not even. Come on, come home. Come on, have some fun. That's 21. It is. No. That's a reminder. Oh, right? Yeah. You should let me get that. Oh, no, that's what we don't want to do. So, 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 okay. So she sell coochie, basically. Basically, that's what it came down to. So she sell coochie. Come on. Be, be, you're be right, real. you're right. Be real. Fifteen. Be real. That's not even the going rate. Come on now. Let's, you're let's right, it's fifteen. No. Maybe one of the other Houston dudes might know. Let's, let's let's talk. Let's be realistic here though. Let's be realistic. She sell coochie. She sell coochie. So we just sat here and we just spent that's, that's all the way twenty minutes. That's cap. Just to go right back to her selling coochie. Because I have a nice car doesn't make me a nice person. That just means I have my responsibilities in order. I can still be a fucking dickhead with a nice car. I can still be a fucking terrorist with a nice car. I can be a fucking doctor who's out here fucking coochie banging shorties and have a nice car. Nice car doesn't mean nice person, dummy. What? Um, yeah. Yeah. I'll let you know on the street, literally. So this was me giving you a chance, but No no no, you were never giving me a chance. I was giving you a chance, but now that I see that you a fucking gold digger. Oh shit! Oh shit! You are a fucking Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pick that mouth right back up off the ground. Put it back on your face, close your mouth. Cause you about to let some fucking you about to let some fucking dust and flies in that bitch. And get to stepping, cause you're a gold digger, and you sell coochie. You are a fucking gold digger. A gold digger? You ain't even wanna fuck with me. You ain't even wanna give me the time of day until you seen that you I was in a fucking that Corvette. A girl could just no, no, no. But you're a fucking gold digger though. As soon as you see that I got this car, oh, or maybe what's your I'm name? A oh, who? Gold digger, gold. No, no, you have no. That's the issue. You have no goals. You said that you don't even. You, all you do is live life. You have no goals. You can go ahead and get the fuck out. And you need to go home and think about what the fuck you did. Because nobody has ever given you 20000 30000 any of that. Like, you can go ahead and get out. Go ahead and think about the fuck you did today. How about that? No, 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 no. I was coming, no, no, no. I was coming out my people's house. No, no, no. No, no. I was coming out my people's house. No, no, no. But as soon as you got this car, all you start talking about was the bad. I don't even know how to open the fucking You can get the fuck out. Another fact. I'm talking to girls on the street and then get it over with. Yeah, yeah. You have another. I'm talking to girls on the street. Yeah, you got out. Get yeah. the fuck out. Yeah, you can keep talking to girls on the street and get it over with. Yeah, yeah, you have a nice day. Mm -hmm. Fuck out of here. Fucking go, nigga, man. And if you post this video, I will have my attorneys talk go to ahead. you. Go ahead. You don't have any attorneys. Go oh, ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Yo, yo, you know yo. <laughs> <laughs> he trying to 
take the video down. I'm gonna take the video down. She tried to scare the nigga with fucking eternities. Shorty, you don't got no eternities. We know that. Then she tried to. She tried to rip. She tried to rip. She tried to rip the game. Bro. Hey, bro. Listen, man. If y'all enjoyed the video, make sure y'all go ahead and y'all destroy that like button. Make sure y'all go ahead and the mod that subscribe button. Make sure y'all go ahead and um click that notification bell so you can go ahead and be a part of the Big Bat Gang. Yes, sir. And make sure you go ahead and you click that share button. Share it to your mama, your daddy, your brother, your sister, your cousins, your grandpa, and your grandma. Because you know we out here trying to find us a nice, sexy, big booty, thick, juicy sugar mama. Or grandmama. Who gonna be out here paying our bills. You feel me? Hey man, I'm gonna catch you on the next video.